Hi class, welcome back to our new topic in spreadsheets. For week 7, we will be talking about formulas and functions in MS Excel. This is your ICT teacher again, Jerlyn S. Viswenye. So for this week, you will be able to use formulas in a spreadsheet and apply basic functions in spreadsheet. For your questions to guide you along our topic, what are formulas and functions in Excel? And how do you use formulas and functions in Excel? There are two ways to perform calculations in Excel, the formula and function. Formulas or a formula is an expression that operates on values in a range of cell or a cell. So for example, equals A1 plus A2 plus A3, which finds the sum of the range of values from cell A1 to cell A3. We also have the functions. Functions are predefined formulas in Excel. They eliminate laborious manual entry of formulas while giving them human-friendly names. For example, instead of equals A1 plus, so we will use equals sum, open parenthesis A1, colon, A3, close parenthesis. The function sums all the values from A1 to A3. There are five ways to insert data into Excel. So number one is the simple insertion, which is typing a formula inside the cell. Number two is using insert function option from formulas tab. Three, selecting a formula from one of the groups in formula tab. Four, using autosum option and 5. Quick Insert or Use the Recently Used Tabs. So this is our number one step, the simple insertion or simply typing the formula or function inside the cell bar or cell box. So what will we do? When we have formulas or functions, it always starts with the equal sign. So, we will type equal sign first, and then we will type manually the function that we will use. So, sum or other functions that we will use. That's it. Okay, for our second step is using the insert function from our formulas tab. So, we have here in our ribbon the tabs we have here formulas and then use the insert function so any function that we have here okay there you go so count average sum max if and so much more so aside from this we can also use the insert function that we already have in the formula bar this one there you go Okay, for our third step is to use or select any functions found in our function library. Audio. So, we can use the example logical and if else text, the end time, and so much more. So, we can also use our auto sum function here formulas and then the, from the function library we will select auto sum function and what what will it do it will automatically add a quick calculation to your worksheet such as sum or average here and our fifth step on how to insert a function or a formula is using the recently used formulas that we have. 
so recently used so what will it do it will quickly choose from functions you recently used so what are our recently used functions the count average sum and max if others there are four basic excel formulas first is the sum sum function is the first must know formula in excel it usually aggregates values from a selection of columns or rows from your selected range so we have here equal sum then numbers next we have the average the average function should remind you of simple averages of data such as the average number of shareholders in a given shareholding pool. Here is the formula for our average. We have another the count. Count function counts all cells in a given range that contain only numeric values. So for the formula of our count, and then the max and min. So the max and min functions help in finding the maximum number for max and minimum number for min in a range of values. So formula for min and if for the formula for max, we'll just change max here. Max. That's it. So to recap what you have learned, so a formula is an expression that operates on values in the range of cells or a cell. Functions are predefined formulas in Excel. To insert formulas and functions in Excel, we can follow different ways. First is the simple insertion, typing a formula inside a cell. Next is using insert function options from formulas tab, then selecting a formula from one of the groups in formula tab, using autosum option and the quick insert or recently used tabs. And it's now time for your activities. So please answer activities 1 and 2 on page 6, then reflection on page 7. That would be all for this week class. See you for week 8 next week. Goodbye.